In this film, we will show you how to replace the air suspension module on the rear axle of a Mercedes-Benz S-Class Type W220. Remove the ignition key when working on the air suspension module. It is very important that you follow the instructions exactly as shown. You need tools and equipment provided by the vehicle manufacturer to replace the air suspension module. Follow the instructions when dismantling the air suspension module. First, remove the suspension strut from its packaging and read the assembly instructions. Measure the vehicle's height before dismantling the module. Measure from the center of the wheel hub to the lower edge of the wing. Note down the results. Next, jack up the vehicle and check the suspension thoroughly for any damage. Remove the fuse from the control unit. The fuse box is located in the engine compartment on the left side. After you remove the wheels, remove the plastic cover of the lower control arm. Carefully remove the retaining clips. The electrical plug-in connection is located behind a rubber grommet in the car body floor pan. Loosen the bolts on the lower control arm. Before you remove the lower control arm bolts, loosen and remove the bolt securing the coupling rod. Remove the lower retaining bolt securing the air suspension module and the axle leg with a suitable drift punch. Fold away the lower control arm. Wear suitable protective eyewear when working on compressed air systems. Next, carefully loosen the compressed air line on the suspension strut with a suitable tool until you hear the sound of air escaping. Once you have loosened and removed the nuts on the strut tower, the air suspension module can be removed. Caution, secure the suspension strut. Remove the suspension strut. Do not remove the safety label until you are ready to install the part. Next, position the new air suspension module and bolt it to the strut tower using new self-locking nuts.
Fold back the lower control arm and bolt it to the suspension strut. Caution, do not tighten the bolt. Bring the lower control arm up to the hub carrier using the lifting equipment and bolt it in place. Bolt the coupling rod to the hub carrier. Comply with the tightening torque specified by the manufacturer. Connect the electrical plug-in connection of the suspension strut and position the rubber grommet in the floor pan. Once installed, reassemble the wheel. Comply with the tightening torque specified by the manufacturer. Take the new O-ring out of its packaging. Discard the white cap and mount the O-ring on the vehicle's compressed airline. Handle the new O-ring with care to avoid damaging it. Next, insert the fuse into the control unit. Never lower the vehicle from the lifting equipment while the air suspension is depressurized. Only lower the vehicle until it touches the ground. Then lower the lifting equipment further until the vehicle stands at a height of 400 millimeters. Start the vehicle and wait for at least two minutes. Then activate the elevation function in the onboard system. The cockpit displays the message, vehicle is being elevated. Once elevation is complete, check the compressed air connection for seal integrity. Using a suitable torque wrench, tighten all threaded connections loosened during the replacement process to the manufacturer's specifications. Finally, reassemble the plastic cover of the lower control arm. Always align the axles after working on suspension parts. Bielstein. Drive the legend.